Hey everybody! In this video, we wrap up our trip down memory lane on our adventure in Paraguay and South America! Hey everybody, Troy and Andrea here, and on today's video, which is number three out of three videos in our trip down memory lane, we are uh, continuing day five and wrapping up the adventure on day six in Paraguay in South America. And you know, looking at over at all these videos and, and preparing this, it is just amazing. The history, the culture, the people, it just really makes me long to be back there and see it all again. There's just so much to see and share in this video. We had so many experiences. It was just absolutely amazing. I hope that you'll join us on this adventure and go back and see the first two videos. It is something you don't want to miss. As if our trip couldn't get any more exciting, these last two days gave us so much more insight into the history and the culture of Paraguay. We learned so many wonderful things and wound up going to some very significant historical places as well as the religious center of the country. We learned things like, for example, the shirt that I'm wearing. This is called Aopoe. It's a type of fabric that they weave there in Paraguay. These things you see over my shoulder, these are called equipos, which are thermoses that the Paraguayans carry around their tea in, which is called yerba mate. And that's the national tea that everybody likes to drink. It's just one thing after another we learned on this trip. Again, this is photograph and video from our trip in 2011. And we hope that you enjoy seeing these places as much as we enjoyed being there. After leaving Falls de Iguazu, we made our way back to Paraguay through Ciudad del Este to Salto del Rio Mundai U. In English, that's Monday Falls. Because of the close proximity to Iguazu Falls, Monday Falls is often overlooked, but it is absolutely breathtaking. It has two main falls and several other smaller ones. It was under construction while we were there. They're building a new tourism platform, but we were able to talk to the workers and they let us get up close and personal. We were able to, Troy was actually able to go out on the platform. It was actually very scary, but we really enjoyed it. Left out of Ciudad del Este in Monday Falls and went to Villa Rica and Casa Pa. And we wanted to go by and see a smaller waterfall, which is known in this area as Salto Suizo. Now we were told the road getting there washes out and it's not easy to get there. But we decided to take a chance in our rental car and go anyway to see this beautiful little gym where lots of Paraguayans love to go during the summertime to cool off and refresh themselves. But the side story is, they won't let you go up to this place by yourself. You have to have quote unquote guarded car and somebody to do that for you. And so this man comes out and we thought he was just going to guard our car. But no, he gets in the car and goes up there with us. Turns out he was a real sweet man and he did guard our car. Here's a picture of him here. Well, we made it down to Kazapa, and this little town has a very interesting story. Legend has it that here at this place at Iqua Bolaños, a Jesuit by the name of Luis Bolaños was evangelizing the Indians, and the chief said that if he could make water come from a rock, then they would all convert to Christianity. Well, that's supposedly what happened at Iqua Bolaños, and then this church was founded, and we go in there and see this beautiful relief where all this wood carving dates all the way back to the 1600s and 1700s done by the Indians of that area. From there, we made our way to the little town of Villa Rica, 
Now, living in Asuncion, we've always heard about this town. The Paraguayans are very enchanted by the sing-song accent of its people, and the town is just very quaint, and we really loved it. We spent the night here, and one of the things that we got to enjoy the next day was a Paraguayan harp festival. One of the things that's dawned on us as we watch these videos and these old pictures from back on our adventure is you know the old phrase that a picture is worth a thousand words? Well sometimes some of these pictures go by and there's just no way we can explain all of the history and all of the things that we learned about Paraguay from this adventure. But it was wonderful. But I got to tell you about this one coming up. On day six, our last day of the adventure, we started working our way back to Asuncion, and on the way we stopped at this place called Vapor Quay. Now Vapor Quay is an interesting place because there's these old warships that are there just out in the middle of nowhere. And the question is, how did they get there? Well, they got there back in the 1860s during the War of the Triple Alliance, whenever Montescal Lopez was retreating from the Argentine and Brazilian armies that were approaching upon him, and the creek that these are nearby was full and flooded at the time. So they were able to bring these ships all the way up into this area. And you remember we showed you Cerro Corra, the place where Marasca Lopez was killed? Well, his retreat started here from on foot from where these ships now rest for all this many years. Ay, 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 viva el bravo After seeing and experiencing many wonderful places and sights and sounds and flavors of Paraguay, we had one more place to stop on our way back home to Asuncion, and that's here at the Basilica in Cayacupe. Now every Latin country has its own version of the Virgin Mary, and here in Paraguay, that is the Virgin Cayacupe. She is here at this Basilica, which is the religious center of the entire nation. Well, there you have it, 2,400 kilometers, 11 departamentos or states, and 52 cities. It was an amazing adventure. We learned so much. It helped us to know the people better that we lived with, worked with, uh, helped us understand their history and their culture. And we just learned so much, things that we could never learn any other way. And we just, it really is one of the greatest adventures of our life. And we hope that you enjoyed it. And we hope that maybe one day you can go too. Thanks for joining Andrea and me on another one of our adventures. Orgullosa voy cantando por el mundo pregonando las bellezas que hay en ti. Viva el bravo Paraguay. Ay, 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 viva el bravo Paraguay.